Welcome to our YouTube presentation on the ethical issues in clinical research involving vulnerable populations. In this video, we will explore the importance of ethical considerations when conducting research with vulnerable individuals. Let's begin. Clinical research plays a crucial role in advancing medical knowledge and improving patient care. However, when working with vulnerable populations, it's essential to address specific ethical issues to protect their rights and well-being. Let's delve into these ethical concerns and identify the vulnerable populations involved. First, let's understand the concept of vulnerability in the context of clinical research. Vulnerable populations refer to groups of individuals who may have diminished autonomy, reduced decision-making capacity, or face additional risks due to their circumstances or characteristics. These populations require special consideration to ensure their protection throughout the research process. Now, let's discuss the ethical issues associated with clinical research involving vulnerable populations. Informed consent. Obtaining informed consent is crucial, but it can be challenging with vulnerable individuals who may have limited understanding or communication abilities. Researchers must use appropriate methods to ensure comprehension and obtain valid informed consent. Equity and access. Ensuring equitable access to research opportunities is essential for vulnerable populations who may already face social, economic, or healthcare disparities. Researchers should address barriers to participation and promote inclusivity. Privacy and confidentiality. Protecting the privacy and confidentiality of vulnerable participants is paramount. Researchers must implement strict measures to safeguard sensitive information and maintain confidentiality, especially when dealing with stigmatized conditions. Benefit-Risk Ratio Assessing the potential benefits and risks of research participation is crucial. Researchers must carefully weigh the risks against potential benefits to ensure that vulnerable participants are not unduly exposed to harm. Now, let's explore some examples of vulnerable populations commonly involved in clinical research. Children and adolescents. Due to their developing cognitive abilities and dependency on guardians, special safeguards are in place to protect their rights and welfare in research studies. Pregnant women and fetuses. Unique considerations arise when conducting research involving pregnant women and their unborn children to ensure their safety and well-being. Elderly individuals. Older adults may face challenges in decision-making and may have multiple comorbidities requiring careful ethical considerations in research involving this population. Individuals with cognitive impairment. Special attention must be given to individuals with conditions such as dementia or intellectual disabilities to ensure their autonomy and well-being throughout the research process. In conclusion, conducting clinical research involving vulnerable populations requires careful attention to ethical considerations. Protecting their rights, ensuring informed consent, promoting equity, and maintaining privacy and confidentiality are essential. By addressing these issues, we can conduct research that respects the dignity and well-being of all participants. Thank you for joining us today as we discuss the ethical issues in clinical research involving vulnerable populations. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on future content. Remember, ethical research is essential for advancing. 